Okay, today's a fun day. I am doing a update of some of the pages in my magazine collage. So today we are gonna be harvesting magazine images from all different magazines. So I'm just looking for cool stuff. And now let me tell you what I think of as cool stuff because I have a few things that I've pulled out recently from my old stash. So some borders. This is a good border. This is a good border. So these borders would go with this border. This border would not go. I love these big feet. This is a happy border. I don't know how I'm going to like that. I have an idea for a page for a big hand holding cups. So I may want some more cups. This is a great creepy border. Border. This will be a fun in the back. Great picture. And then some boats. So that's the kind of thing I have so far. So I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm just looking for things to use and not even necessarily, oh, those could be fun. We could use those as somebody's feet. Can you see them? They're like black shoes. You'll be able to see them better when we, um, after I cut them out. We're not doing that today. All right, a horse. Is that, I love him. He was in The Mentalist, and now he has a horse. What could be better than that? Okay. Oh, this is a man magazine. I was like, oh, look at the man. Well, of course, there's a scantily clad woman in the man magazine. That guy has gems on his sweater or on his slippers. Well, those are very fancy. Okay, Matthew McConaughey, basketball dude. Oh, I know him. No, I don't know him. I thought he was Ryan Reynolds. The only reason I know Ryan Reynolds is because he was in the funny movie and he's a marketing guy and I'm a marketing gal. Okay, there's some big feet. I have some other big feet. Well, I kind of like this. What am I, I'm having like a foot fetish thing going on. I kind of like the big feet. Maybe that'll be two of the pages or maybe there's a theme. This is the fun thing about harvesting these kinds because they don't, they don't really have to mean anything like this. I could do this as a border and that would probably make a pretty cool border if I painted it. I wouldn't want to leave it as razors. That's not really my thing. But, leave done in the dust. That's kind of a cool, that could be a cool glue page background. And a glue page is when you would take this and put it on the whole back of the page and then you don't have to worry about a background. And sometimes I like that. Is that a rabbit? Oh, what's your wild rabbit? It is a rabbit. I think I made that a tummy one time. Elton John, New Year's Eve. There's a little horror comic. I do like dark and creepy, but I'm not much into comic books. Severed body parts. Oh, this is kind of fun. I think this must be a Halloween. How can this be a Halloween and a, for and a New Year's Eve? She's kind of cute. Josiah likes the fancy um, man cologne. I got him some polo this year for Christmas, and he loves it. Okay, so this year I'm going to be doing more littler people in that black magazine. I still have my big magazine, but it's fun because Diane Reevely said when you're starting, it's best to work big. And I think I accidentally did that, and now I'm ready to work a little smaller. Let's see how this goes with our cups. I don't know that I'm thinking that matches my cups. Sea urchins. Ooh, if I had a beer can about that size, I would be okay with that. Oh, Donald Sutherland, look at his picture. He is fabulous.
If I was pulling out faces, I would pull him out. But we're not doing faces. We're just doing images. Oh, all different ways of dressing. Oh, this is really good for, oh my goodness, look at this. Great paper caper. That is a great background which is kind of a bummer because I really like the way this man's outfit is, but look at those giant, those are gonna be good. Good backgrounds. All right, that's it for this one. Food Network. And I think I'm looking for kind of big, a dodo. Uh, my granddaughter calls them dogs dodos. So now I call dogs dodos. Don't ever feel like because you can't find fashion magazines or that, that you can't do anything because I get lots of my best kind of side images out of these kind of magazines. Oh, my kids love that. That'd be cute on a side. I'm a vegetarian. If you ate meat, you might want to have a meat page. Giant french fry. Sometimes I will cut these out. I have a lot of um, borders where I will cut those out and use them as the border. <laughs> this is really good for color on the border. Sharp. That's a good word. I have a feeling I, oh, kitty. I have a feeling I have, pro oh, that's a great face. See, this is the thing. Say you can only get cooking lights or food networks at your um, thrift stores. Look at that face. That is the perfect face for a magazine collage. So don't be bummed if all you can get is like cooking light. Don't forget the, you could put it on that body. Don't forget the advertisements are often. I'm gonna take this out because I think that this in three parts could be a really fun border. Okay, oh, Blue Moon. My friends and I all used to drink Blue Moon every Thursday. That is way too big. <laughs> I don't know who Jeff is. Oh, there we go. Those are some good borders. So this is a great border. This is a great border. You're right. They are good borders. Ree Drummond. I just watched uh, Christmas Cookies with Ree. She's just nice. She is just nice. So we got some fun things out of here. That's the thing. If you don't want your stuff to all look the same, ooh. See, that would be an amazing border to have all around. I am not in a place where I want to cut things up that much. I want to kind of get my black journal started. But I would for sure, oh, that's a good dodo, cut those up and put them on a border. If I had an idea for them. Little children crying because they have to eat broccoli. I cry when I have to eat broccoli. My husband loves broccoli. I don't mind broccoli. It's taken 20 years, but now I'm kind of semi-okay with broccoli. Not 100%, but semi-okay, which is better than being sad. <gasps> Dogs. I don't, I, I don't know how I would live without dogs. It would be rough. Okay, so I was noticing this. If you need a border, you could cut that. That, this, a bunch of this, and that would be a beautiful border. And all that is is the background of the, um, that's the countertop. But that would make a beautiful border. You could pull some of this in. That's pretty too. Grapes, grape expectations, I get it. Okay. There's a slight chance I need to get out more. 
considering my big trip this week was to the grocery store. Okay. Oh, Tampa Bay Magazine. Look how pretty that is. Now, if that's in there, we will for sure use it. These ones, I don't know if you have any local magazines, but they like to take pictures of people in the back. Oh, fun arch. I kind of love him. All right. All right, all right, all right. I live in Tampa Bay area, so we have lots of trap. Why are there a whole bunch of animals? That's really strange. Oh, there's a lot of dead things. Okay. Could not imagine doing my art with a whole bunch of dead things, but, but peeps, everybody gets to do their art the way they want to, right? Right. So you may have nothing but skulls in your art and you will get no judgment from me. Oh, I love masks. Ah, Ooh, if I was doing bodies, look at that. That is an amazing, I cannot believe I've never used that. This would make a good tree. You know how we make rainbow trees. Ooh, these guys have amazing costumes on. I must never have seen this or I would have used, if I was pulling out people, I would totally pull those out. Those are very pretty. Let's see. We will pull that out. Oh, look, a bee. I love bees. That's too little for what I'm doing today. Too little for today. Chewy. So there's a lot of blue on here that I could use for a um, border. And I will never use Chewbacca in my magazine collage, even though I know some of you would like it. I was gonna call him an elefante, but he's a giraffe. Oh, that could make a good tree. Ooh, so pretty. Red carpet ready. These are the fancy people in Tampa Bay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna have to move these because they're touching my arm. Zendaya, she's very pretty. I like her when she's more um, casual though. I'm starting to know her. Well, this must be a new one because that's Sex in the City coming back. She would be a fun friend on the side. Oh, this is the lung one. See, I think when we get all twisted and we're like, oh my gosh, we need to have, um, I just used that. We need to have fashion magazines that a lot of times we forget that there aren't as many good, like regular images in fashion magazines to use. Right, right. I love those eyes. Okay, okay. Now that could be a good yellow border. I made those an eyeball once. How fun. I love visiting my old friends and going, oh, I used you. Okay, okay. Yeah, nothing in there. But I did pull a lot out there. Okay, Vogue sometimes have really good sides. Like, I feel like this for my blue border is gonna be great. I think this is just, yeah, just the back page. And I would tear them all out, but then you start compromising the um, integrity of the magazine. And I like to make my designs by flipping through things rather than um, having a whole bunch of things cut out. I can do sides with cutouts, but to do my actual designs, I like to flip through magazines. You may do better by cutting out all the images in your stash, and that's fine too. I just did that when I first started. I cut out, I went through all my magazines and pulled out the things I thought I would want, and um, that just didn't work for me. I don't, I don't, I can't put random things together. I have to flip through these, find a focal point, and then kind of work backwards. 
So it could be that you, there's that little gecko. I don't think, I don't think if you didn't see it that way, you would really, like it doesn't scream little gecko hand. Ooh, that's a very pretty color of blue. I have a, I feel a blue page coming on. I feel blue, oh so blue. I promised myself I wouldn't sing this year because of the embarrassment factor, but, because I do edit these, and then all of a sudden I'm like, what the heck were you thinking? Oh my gosh, that is a lot of Savorsky Christ. Okay, hang on. Did we see, was there a gal back here that had a ton, I know I just seen a ton of gold. Okay, so we're going to take her. And we're going to take this and we're going to make a border. Okay, that's it. All right, so let's see what we got. We got gold stuff. We got blue stuff. More blue stuff, more blue stuff. I'm going to be able to make two blue pages, yellow and red. We've got our cups that are gonna go with that. This is gonna make a fun dark border. This is gonna make a fun background. I'm still up in the air on this one. This is gonna be the back of a glue book page. I don't know, I have a feet thing going on. And then the stuff we already had, here is my hand to hold my cups. So that is where we're at right now. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, RT for T Life.